the sense of control people gain by attributing their success to manifesting comes at the cost of their detachment from reality. This dissociation is the expressed goal for those engaged in the related practice of reality shifting, which promises the ability to switch your consciousness to whatever distant parallel universe of success you'd prefer. However, most shifters choose to inhabit the familiar worlds of their favorite entertainment franchises. You said forever, now I drive alone past your street. The breadcrumb path between these woo methods is clearly laid out. If you can't heal your life by manifesting the achievements you want, then there's always the opportunity to leave your life behind and become Harry Potter instead. Commenters often share their frustrations about being unable to manifest or shift into their desired reality, only to be reassured by woo influencers that their miracle is right around the corner. They just need to keep doing the work. Unfortunately, no matter how many mansions or Hogwarts acceptance letters they dream of, their reality remains the same. The only option is to double down on their delusion or admit defeat. Burnout becomes inevitable. Though both practices benefit from being so silly that they're difficult to criticize, I still think it's sad that people feel so hopeless about improving their lives that permanently dissociating is seen as a viable alternative. The trouble with just letting people enjoy things is that unconditional indulgence rarely provides lasting happiness. <laughs>